Zoo Miami is one of the few in the country with a unique program aimed at being more eco-friendly. Yes, and that <laughs> is making good use of the zoo animal's solid waste. Local 10 News reporter Ton Toggin, he caught up with a very excited Ron McGill to get the smelly scoop. It's a crappy job, but somebody's got to do it. And nobody can pitch poop like Zoo Miami director and composting king Ron McGill. These animals produce thousands and thousands of pounds of poop every day. Here we have little gazelle poop here. Here we have giraffe poop here. Here we have zebra poop. I got this all fresh this morning. A few months ago, Zoo Miami became only the second zoo in America with an industrial-sized Envirodrome. The recipe for Zoo Do is simple. One tractor bucket of plant debris mixed in with a bucket load of precious yet pungent poop. It mixes and aerates for 10 days at over 130 degrees. Then the Zoo Do is packed in buckets ready for sale. Starting today for $12.95 for a collector's bucket, you can have your own Zoo bring it home. Or for $30, you can get a full cubic yard. Look! See? There's nothing to worry about here. Woo! I'm pooped watching Ron. Now there is a reason they use these type of animals, like Dollop, who creates about 300 pounds of poop a day. It's because they're herbivores. Carnivore species is much more toxic and has a lot more impurities. The Bantangs, giraffes, rhinos, and zebras now have a much smaller carbon footprint thanks to Zudu. At Zoo Miami, Todd Tong at Local 10 News. We can smell it from here, right? Todd was interesting there in the newsroom. If for, for your own canister of compost or any more information on the zoo, do head over to our website, local10.com.